Well, for the penultimate episode, I guess it's finally time to talk about the follow-up to the show I've talked about the most. My Little Pony Make Your Mark aired on Netflix as part of MLP Generation 5. Set years after Friendship is Magic, it followed a new group of ponies named Sunny, Hitch, Izzy, Pip, and Zip after they brought the three pony tribes back together trying to spread the magic of friendship while going up against the evil alicorn Opaline and her minion Misty. So Friendship is Magic is one of my favorite animated shows of all time. Does this match it? Uh, no, that would be a miracle. But I like it. I really enjoyed the movie that started this, and while the show isn't as good, I do like these new characters. I laugh a decent amount, there's some good music, animation, and voice acting, and it is incredibly adorable. I'd probably put it on the same level as the Equestria Girls franchise. And yeah, I enjoy Tell Your Tale too. So if you haven't seen the show, be warned there are spoilers because this is the fifth chapter because Netflix. This is a Nightmare on Main Street. We begin in Maritime Bay with every pony decorating for Nightmare Night. And I love that in the Celestia knows how many years since the original show, Heartswarming Eve changed to Winter Wish Day, but Nightmare Night is still the same. Looks like the devil won this battle. Hitch is preparing for the festivities, which includes a hunt to find a hidden golden pumpkin. Come on, Hitch, you're losing them. Did I mention the winner will win a big mystery prize? Okay. It's a year's supply of toothpaste to wash out all the cavities. By the way, I mentioned spoilers. Misty's on their side now and is my favorite character and I will protect her with my life. Oh, and Hitch hides the pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Yeah, can we let any pony else handle the party planning? Ah, make it invisible. I misjudged you, Hitch. You're a cheater, and I respect that. Actually, all the pumpkins are vanishing. Meanwhile, the ponies are saying what their favorite part of Nightmare Night is. When you scream the loudest, then laugh the hardest. It's my favorite! Wait, so you ponies like being scared? Hey, Misty, don't you know? Sometimes it's just really fun to be scared. So much that Pip is turning the lighthouse into a haunted house. What can we do to help? <gasps> Should I peel a bowl full of grapes and say their eyeballs? Well, your eyeballs are clearly bigger than grapes. You're gonna need like 10 jellos or something. There's also a subplot with Jazz and Rocky trying to find the golden pumpkin, but it barely matters. What does matter is Opaline watching them and we see that all the pumpkins that were disappearing have been teleported to her place. Oh, has Misty been decorating again? I'll have to beat her later. Actually, she sees that the pumpkins are teleported and thinks she can use that same magic to teleport into Maritime Bay. I don't know how that works, but you go for it, honey. So the new main six has everything ready for their haunted house, treats, a maze, and ghosts using drone technology. <laughs> Introducing the pony drone from a tombstone. <laughs> This'll be the most excellent acorn light show Equestria has ever seen! How the hell do you turn acorns into lights? Magic exists in this world, and that's the thing I find most perplexing. By the way, Hitch is a pirate and Sparky is his parrot. That's... That's just adorable. But no one seems to want to join his activities. Sunny's treats apparently involve more apples than the entire apple family farm has on hand. These Nightmare Night treats were my favorite Nightmare Night tradition from when I was a filly. And I want everything to be exactly as I remembered it for tonight's Crystal Fray House. Yeah, Sunny, trust me. Recreating holiday moments just usually leads to disappointment. Opaline finds out the spot that transports back to Maritime Bay. <laughs> And apparently it's the tree because everything in this franchise always comes down to fucking trees. So let's see our costumes. Pip is a witch, Zip a vampony, Misty's a magician, Sunny's a hippie, bit on the nose there, and Izzy is, I don't know, a pumpkin? Like you're supposed to be the creative one, right? Opaline finally enters Maritime Bay, but no one seems threatened thinking it's just an act. So terrified. <laughs> Fear me! She then killed every pony on that street. The mares are finishing up on the maze, but Misty doesn't seem that scared at any of Pip's frights. Maybe because her idea of frights is just rubber bats. Misty, what's wrong? Why didn't you scream with the rest of the group? Do you not find bats scary? It's nothing personal, Pip. I guess I just don't scare easy. I guess when you grow up with the Mistress of Evil, it puts some things in perspective. So Pip vows to scare her by the end of the night. Meanwhile, with Jazz and Rocky, they can't find the golden pumpkin. Unless Hitch's big prize, was just quality time spent with your closest friends. That actually does seem like something he would do. 
Opaline is still having trouble scaring any pony. Why isn't any pony fearing me? And what are these outfits? Fashion in Equestria has really gone downhill. Okay, Opal. You were around in Twilight's time. You should know what Nightmare Night is. Seriously? Who are you supposed to be? Nightmare Moon? Your new worst nightmare. Tyrick? Sombra? Suri Polomare? <laughs> Ah, season five Starlight. I should have guessed you are both purple. So she can take cutie marks, but thinks it'll take too long doing it individually, so she just kind of quits and heads back. I mean, you could probably take at least a few more. The haunted house is going badly. Ghost drones get stuck. Ponies are too stupid to eat caramel apples right. Like, sir, are, are you okay? And every pony's making a mess. <laughs> Yeah, sorry Pips, TV CGI has gone a long way, but still not enough to match the crazy faces 2D can. Also, I think Izzy blinds some ponies. <laughs> so Sunny shuts it down. What the hey guys? It just wasn't Nightmare Night. Well, I don't know about Nightmare Night, but a bunch of people going around making a mess. Seems like Halloween to me. You're all right, but I guess I was just hoping that tonight's celebrations would be like they used to be. Sonny, it's always been a disaster. You're just remembering it fondly. Just like how I fondly remember doing this in 2020, but doing it now, I realize that shooting and editing these is a fucking nightmare. So they all learn a lesson about not overthinking things and just trying to make an enjoyable night for every pony. Not every holiday has to be perfect. We're exactly the same as it was last time. I actually really love that line. It's something I need to remind myself of every Christmas. Oh, and Misty gets scared and they reopen the Fright House. As they clean up the next day, which I guess no one found the golden pumpkin, and they're just okay with that, Sparky's magic fire turns a map into a different map that will lead them to the Dragonlands. Which is good as that's where Opaline is hoping to get more power to capture all the cutie marks. We can finally warn them about Opaline! And we better do it soon, before it's too late. So that was a solid episode, but a really good Halloween one. There's some cute moments, a few laughs, and the characters all get a decent amount to do. The message is about not trying to recreate past holidays, not go overboard, and keep things a bit more simple are also pretty good that even some adults should learn. The Halloween, or should I say Nightmare Night aspect, is great. It's just drenched in the holiday. Decorations, apple-flavored food, the fall colors, and includes stuff like haunted houses, games, and trying to scare each other. I'll give the episode a 7 out of 10 and Halloween Factor a 9. That is exactly the same grade I gave Scaremaster. So yeah, I know G5 isn't everyone's cup of tea, but for me, most of the episodes can at least hold a toe to some of the more good, not great episodes of Friendship is Magic, with some real standout great ones. Well, the sun's gonna be going down soon, so I better get to Italian Lake and see if I can find this thing. If I do this again in 2028, I'm staying inside. All right, I have been all around this damn lake. Can't find anything. And I am so tired. Maybe Maybe this was some wild goose chase. I don't fucking know anymore. There's no, I just want to fucking eat and lay down and go to sleep. Huh. The weird coincidence if someone just left this random thing here looks fancy and kind of familiar doesn't have my name on it I'm gonna have to go back home
<laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> computer. Uh, all right. There's there's only two things on here. One says watch first. Okay. Nordy, it's you. What the? I'm you, from the future. Again? Not like last time. Oh my god. Is this from even further in the future, like 2050 or something? I'm from May of 2025. Oh. I'm sorry I can't meet you in person. Turns out time travel works on Project Almanac rules, and if we see each other, we'll cause a rift that could destroy us both. Well, obviously, that's just science. The reason I'm here is to give you review topics that you need to do in order to save us. Save us from who? I can't tell you who, because frankly, I don't know. All I do know is that someone got really mad that I didn't review these, and now I'm being hunted. Hunted? So by now I'm sure you realize that I lied to you about there being a final episode since you've already covered all 31. Wait, what? Holy shit, I already did do 31 episodes! I mean, you'd have to be really stupid to not realize that in order for there to be an episode a day going from the year you were born to the current year, there would have to be, like, an October zero. And even if you didn't, if you had just counted the episode files, you would have figured that out. And even then, how could I have possibly gotten an episode from 2024? I mean, that means it would air in the month that you were posting these. But anyway... The other file on this flash drive is something you have to review in November. Doesn't matter when, just sometime in November. I'll leave the other subjects outside your door when it's time for you to review them. By the time we get to May, everything should be alright. And well, good luck, Norty. For both our sakes. Well, I guess that's it. Which most of you probably guessed, given that this episode will be out on the 31st. So, um, happy Halloween. Oh, 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 and can you say my dad's name when you do it? It's Butter.